Hey everyone, it's Charlie from Daily Motor, and today we've got the sound demo of the 2020 Toyota 4Runner. Now this is the Venture Edition special model, and it comes packing the non-JBL system. It's actually only the 8-speaker premium audio system from Toyota. So this is going to be an in-depth sound system demo. We're going to take a listen to some sample tracks, check out the infotainment and audio system, check out some speaker locations, sound settings, take it out on the road, listen to some tracks while we're driving, and I'll give you my thoughts at the end. So as always, we do these sound system reviews with a USB stick with WAV audio files, uncompressed, plugged directly into the system, and high quality binaural microphones in both of my ears, giving you the most realistic sound system experience on YouTube. Before we get started, let's hop out and take a quick look at the car. So for those of you who aren't just watching this video because you already own a 4Runner and want to get some confirmation bias and can't get enough of it, this is Toyota's midsize SUV. Very off-road capable, a little more hardcore than the Highlander RAV4 type of vehicles. And this Venture Edition provides a little bit of the off-road chops and kind of cool looks without going full TRD. If you want to know more on the 4Runner, stay tuned for our full review or take a look in the description if it's already posted. But for now, let's check out speaker locations. So we should be able to find eight speakers around the 4Runner. So we got one, two, three, four. Any tweeters? I don't think so. Here we go, five, six. I know where the last two are. Pop this open. We got seven and eight right here in the tailgate. So eight speakers, no subwoofer, nothing like that. No center speaker, no tweeters. Pretty simple setup. So for audio inputs in the 4Runner here, pretty standard fare. You got your AM, FM, Sirius XM, USB, Bluetooth, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay support. So what does that mean you're missing? Well, you don't have a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input jack, and you also don't have a CD or DVD player. Not too common to see those these days, but it's something that the Toyota is lacking nonetheless. For ways to control media, we've got a little volume knob here without any detents. It's standard Toyota, but I'm not a huge fan. You've also got volume controls right here on the steering wheel. For track selection, you can do this knob here, these buttons on the steering wheel, or touch buttons right there. Sound settings. We go here, pretty standard fare. You've got your front, rear, left, right, fader, and balance. And you've also got treble, mid-range, and bass. Let's test those out here once the bass guitar hits. Or, is it a bass guitar? I've only listened to these tracks like 70 times. Also have an automatic sound levelizer so as you get going higher speeds more ambient noise the audio levels will adapt to that <clears throat> all right so let's fire it up get on the road audio cuts out which I'm not a huge fan of but another just minor minor complaint this 4Runner also has the optional TRD exhaust, so we'll get a little sound clip of that as we're driving as well. Come on. Come on. Let's get that music going again. There we go.
Now that we're up to highway speeds, turn the music down here and get let you hear what it sounds like at 70. Let's wait for this Jeep to go by. So as you can tell, you still hear a little bit of road noise and you also get some exhaust drone, which is a little frustrating. If I were driving this car around a lot, I really wouldn't want to be listening to that day in and day out. Alright, so final thoughts on the 8-speaker sound system here in the Toyota 4Runner. For a base audio system, for something that's not upgraded with special tuning from a, from a separate speaker manufacturer, it's really not too bad. The speakers actually have a good amount of range to them. You're not getting a lot of those high highs or those low lows, but in terms of mixing, a lot of times more basic audio systems like this really get harsh on the ears when the music gets loud, especially when you have to overcome things like these louder tires and the loud exhaust and everything. You crank your music up, certain sounds come through like the snare hits in this song or that metal song we listened to. Those types of songs can come through really harsh. But this system actually doesn't do too bad a job at that. And at no point was I like, oh man, I really gotta turn this down, this is hurting my ears. Now, I do know JBL systems typically sound quite good in Toyotas. So if something, if listening to audio is really important to you in your 4Runner, I would recommend stepping up to a trim where you could get that system, where you could get the 15 speaker top level JBL audio system. I imagine it's actually going to be quite good. This system, I've rated it about a six or so. The infotainment screen has a little bit of, of lag factor. 
it's pretty dated looking, but it does provide your basic functionalities. I mean, you have a fine enough GPS here. All the audio controls are decently laid out. It's got a few annoyances, like when I hit browse right here and go to folders, it completely restarts the song I was listening to. It's not exactly browsing, in my opinion. It's, it's going to a folder, even though I hadn't committed to a folder yet. So that's a little bit frustrating, but overall the system's straightforward enough. It does have your Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, everything. So I'd give this system about a six, maybe six and a half, depending on the day. Um, subjectively, for a base system in a car this price, probably about a, yeah, a six and a half or so. As base systems go, it's, it's pretty solid. So I hope you guys were able to get a good impression for the eight speaker system here in the Toyota 4Runner. If you liked this video, please hit that subscribe button. Check out some of our other videos. If you want to see more on the 4Runner, like I said, stay tuned for that. Or if you're watching later on, check out the link in the description. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on.